Seven wooden slats of strength and support, bound together by loyalty and devotion, and above all, care and concern. We've had people show up at our house when we were building here in the driveway and just walk up to us and say, I don't know you, I don't know Grayson, but I want to help you. A small stand of pallet Christmas trees was planted in the mind of 13-year-old Evan McGrew, and the result, a forest of 500 to help his best friend Grayson. The 13-year-old from Walpole was left unable to walk, paralyzed after an accident at the end of October. It's been really nice to make so many and raise so much money for Grayson. From a mobility unit to changes in their house to a medical apparatus for, for Grayson. So we really need to continue to spread the word. Step by step, Evan and his father and grandfather built one pallet Christmas tree after another. You take a pallet, you draw a line like a triangle, and then you cut it out with like a jigsaw. They quickly spread to homes around the neighborhood. And here throughout the center of town, all for generous donations. We were just blown away with the support we got from the community. They've raised $20,000 with the project. A GoFundMe site is well over 100000 and there is one tree left. So they decided to auction it off to the highest bidder, the star at the top of the tree for Grayson. Grayson's at Spalding. He's working really hard in therapy every day, and he really hopes to get home for Christmas. The bidding is open until 8 o'clock Saturday night. The Facebook page hashtag goals for Grayson has the information. In Walpole, Josh Brogadier, WCVB, News Center 5. Wow.